Warrington's local plan sets out the legal planning framework for the borough's development over the next 20 years. It'll guide the housing, business space, transport and infrastructure and community facilities that we need for the future. Our draft local plan aims to deliver a minimum of 18,900 new homes, or 945 a year, up to 2037. It also aims to support jobs and economic growth in Warrington by making 362 hectares of employment land available. Our population is growing and our economy is thriving. We need to respond to that by making sure we have enough homes for local people now and in the future. We need to make sure our residents, in particular young people, have access to affordable housing. That's why we're proposing that 20% of homes built in Inner Warrington and 30% elsewhere in the borough will be affordable. It's also vital we meet the needs of an ageing population. Our plan proposes that one in five new homes will be built for elderly residents. The minimum number of new homes we need, which is set by the government, exceeds the amount of urban and brownfield land available in Warrington. As Warrington has grown over the decades, the reality now is that our urban areas are nearing their development capacity. We've undertaken an exhaustive search of all urban and brownfield development options, including high density development in the town centre and the surrounding area. This shows that it's possible to deliver around 14,000 new homes and 115 hectares of employment land in existing urban areas. This means that the remainder of land for housing and employment would need to be released from the Greenbelt. Proposing to release Greenbelt land is a last resort. But the plan also sets out the areas that need to be protected from development. The plan will ensure that around 90% of Warrington's Greenbelt will be retained and protected well beyond the end of the plan period in 2037. It will also protect areas important for Warrington's environment, ecology and heritage and where there are unavoidable impacts, the plan will require that development provides extensive mitigation. The government requires that all local authorities have a viable local plan. We want to use our plan to build a better future for Warrington and its people. It's about delivering homes, employment opportunities, roads, schools, medical centres, shops and community facilities to support thriving new communities. Getting the transport infrastructure right will be fundamental to the plan. That's why we've also launched our draft fourth local transport plan, which we call LTP4. This important plan will run alongside and support our local plan. You can find more about this document on our website. The council hasn't drawn up the local plan in isolation. It follows national planning policy and just as importantly has been informed by the thousands of representations already made by the public. Help us get it right by having your say. Your views are vital in shaping the plan and will help determine how Warrington develops in the future.